Hey, what's up, YouTube? You good trader one one with perhaps my most important video. Unfortunately, I am away on vacation right now in St. Petersburg, Florida, and do not have the normal accommodations that I would for making a YouTube video. So this video might not sound quite the way it would if I was at home, and the top of my head or bottom of my head, for that matter, might be cut off. So please bear with me. Have you been on Facebook over the course of the last day? It would not be surprising if you've heard about Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh. Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh is a group in which I started on Facebook and has a corresponding website which was created today. The message of Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh is simply that we would like a collaborative voice from the Yu-Gi-Oh community to be heard by Konami. I know this has been tried numerous times before if it was over the course of the Chris Paravich Yu-Gi-Oh overdose versus Ultra Railing Games issue and the corresponding articles which occurred after that or any of the things in which I have written about or other authors have written about pertaining to the injustices and gripes that the community has with Konami. However, the announcement of YCS Toronto this week has been the breaking point for me as a member of the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. I may be a member of Ultra Reality Games, I may be a writer of Ultra Reality Games, but my opinions are not necessarily affiliated with that of Ultra Reality Games. The fact that Konami and Ultra Reality Games has had a falling out over the course of the last week is an absolute coincidence and is not necessarily correlated with the message I have about YCS Toronto. My opinion of YCS Toronto is entirely my own personal opinion and is something that I feel passionate enough about to make this video and the website that I put together today. With that, the reason in which I believe we as a community should boycott YCS Toronto is simple. The only way that Konami will ever hear the gripes of its player base is if we can hit their wallet. And the way in which we can hit their wallet the most is by attacking the prized premier event, YCSs. YCSs are already a negative endeavor for Konami. They expect to lose money when they hold YCS events. And if we can successfully hold the YCS Toronto attendance to a record low, it would show a community collaborative effort to speak the gripes we have against their organized play. Why should we be upset with YCS Toronto? Well, it is simple. It is in less than four weeks. Konami has announced an event in less than four weeks. Let that sink in your head. Travel has gone up exponentially because of the lack of a well put together organized play system by Konami. Flights have increased in price. Hotels have increased in place. Travel accommodations in general have increased in place simply because Konami has not made the decision to announce their events in an appropriate manner. Not only that, this event is being held on August 31st and September 1st. With the new ban list being released and being put into effect on September 1st, it would be expected that an event held in such limbo would have a declared format way ahead of time. But not only has Konami waited till the last minute to announce the event, they have not officially declared what format the event is being held in. So not only is the player base expected to pay higher sums of money, expected to even express a passport if they do not already have one to an attend event in Canada, they are going to an event with absolutely no idea what format they are about to play in. This is by far one of, if not the most unprofessional actions I have seen by Konami in the 10 years as a player. And it is something that I simply cannot stand silently for. And I hope through Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh! the Yu-Gi-Oh! community can stand in unison and make a collaborative voice and a loud voice that Konami will finally hear. We would like appropriate announcements for organized play. And not only that, we would like our lives and our willingness to attend these events to be considered by Konami when they announce their events. It should be expected that we have months to plan for these events. Look at other professionally run organized play organizations such as Wizards of the Coast with their Kaijudo and their Magic the Gathering game. You know when their events are. You know months ahead when their events are. You know what formats, what seasons, if it's limited, if it's legacy, if it's modern, if it's standard in Magic the Gathering. These things are known very far in advance and is something that Konami should readily have picked up on. They have over 10 years of experience from Shonen Jumps to YCSs and it is an absolute injustice to the player base that has been loyal over the course of the last 10 years to expect 
us to follow that. With that being said, I understand that there has been some controversy pertaining to the effects potentially of Yu-Gi-Oh! in Canada by the Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh! attempt to boycott the event. I would like to make it clear that I have absolutely no intention of crippling Yu-Gi-Oh! in Canada. I thoroughly enjoy traveling to Canada for events, and it is my opinion that a lower, a record low attendance at YCS Toronto would be something that Konami would look at and not assume it is simply because the event is being held in Canada. They would recognize that the Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh! boycott of YCS Toronto and the fact that they failed at properly announcing the event were the reasons why they looked at their attendance and saw a record low, and that is our goal. If you were on the fence about attending this event, it is time to stand up and join Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh! and state, I will not attend this event. I personally can very easily travel a 7-8 hour car ride, something that is minute in comparison to driving to Atlanta or Indianapolis or Columbus, which I've done dozens of times. I'm choosing not to drive 8 hours to Toronto. I could easily ask for work off. I am choosing not to ask for work off. And I understand there are players who cannot ask for work off because of the poor timing. I understand there are players who would have to pay elevated ticket prices on flights or pay higher amounts for hotels. I understand that. And it is something that I, as a member of the UU community, feel is an injustice and is something we need to voice our opinions on. Konami has the potential across the board to improve their event coverage, the way they present YCS events, perhaps even add live streaming. These are things that have been discussed and talked about at length, at nauseum, and is something that we would love to have heard, and it is something that we're finally going to make a collaborative effort to have heard. I hope this video has cleared up any misconceptions about Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh! The fact that it has no affiliation with alt Reality Games, and is simply a coincidence that it has corresponded with the falling out of Konami and alt Reality Games, and it is in no way, shape, or form a conspiracy to end Yu-Gi-Oh! in Canada, though I understand both of those issues and both of the questions pertaining to those issues. And it is also not a simple rant about Konami, and it is not some way in which someone can simply counteract what we're saying by stating that just don't play Yu-Gi-Oh, quit Yu-Gi-Oh. It is, it goes far beyond that. We are loyal players who have stuck through and through with Konami over the course of the last decade, and we feel as though we have the right to voice our opinion when we do not agree with the way in which the game is being held. There have been players who have stuck through poor formats or times in which they were not enjoying Yu-Gi-Oh, hoping that for one day they will once again enjoy the game that they fell in love with, perhaps as a kid or perhaps as an older adult. And it is something that we feel is the right of us as Yu-Gi-Oh players. So please, join Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh. Join us by making your Facebook picture, your Facebook default, the Royal Oppression Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh image, perhaps a Facebook banner, joining the Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh movement, voicing your opinion in YouTube videos. I will give a shout out on the Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh website to anyone who makes a video discussing Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh in a positive manner. The contributors Page already has individuals such as Slim X Team Symmetry and Infernity 11. Other contributors will be immediately added if you message me on Facebook a video which I will then watch to ensure that it is indeed in accordance with the message of Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh. Also, please invite all of your friends who play Yu-Gi-Oh to join the Facebook group to visit the website Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh or watch this YouTube video. Beyond that, this is Joe Girlando, hopefully with my most important video to date. So please visit josephgirlando.com.wix.com slash Occupy Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll have the link in the description below. Anyway, thanks for watching.